So it's the 15th of January. The taste season is now open, which is always a relief. A lot of work goes on behind the scenes, up and down the river. The gillies finish middle of October and there's boats to be painted and huts to be cleaned, tackle sorted, banks to be worked on. So we look forward to Christmas, we look forward to New Year, and then we look forward to the 15th of January. And they all seem to come in a very short space of time. We've been particularly busy this year again. It's the second year we've hosted the official opening of the Tay. And, it, and it's gone well, uh, a great turnout. The, the weather, the weather's been fantastic, which is great. It was pretty awful yesterday. It was gray and windy and wet and a lot of rain during the night. And the river came up a couple of feet overnight, which isn't ideal for fishing. You'll know that yourselves, but it's starting to steady now. I'm still hopeful there's a springer to be caught, but particularly across on the Isle of Mouth bank there. That's a, a great pool in the high water and it's getting well fished. There must be, I don't know, a dozen boys fishing there just now. So if there's a fish there, it's got no chance. Uh, but great to see so many people out. Uh, it's not a serious fishing day today. It's more of a, a celebration to be on the river again. Plenty of cabin fever over the winter. So, aye, it's just nice to get out. Hopefully a good year. The spring, as you know, has been getting better. Uh, I heard David Summers of the Tay Board say an interesting thing this morning, that last year, the average spring weight was in excess of 12 pounds. And that's the first time since the 50s that's happened, so that's encouraging. Uh, definitely a few fish around later on in the year, there's no doubt about that, but hopefully it's a new season, we're always optimistic. Uh, by, by, by your nature as a fisherman you have to be, so hopefully it should be a good year and there'll be some positive news to be spread up and down the river and, and throughout, it, throughout all the rivers in Scotland as well. Such an important you know, financial thing to the economy of Scotland and so many people are passionate about the fishing. It's just nicer for folk to get a decent turn.